I got started because of my interest in the uh, history of department stores and retail history. And somebody in my family had saved a couple of cards for some local department stores here, and they gave them to me. And I guess that it just kind of went from there. Uh, and I found through a collectibles book, I found out that there were a uh, other people that collected credit cards. I didn't think anybody else probably did that except me. But I did find out there was a there was a, a guy out of Texas that had a newsletter that he put out about credit card collecting. And nice. like I said, it was the late 80s, early 90s that uh, this um, bi-monthly, I guess, newsletter was put out. And then in 1993, uh, there were the couple of collectors decided to have a convention. And it was in Richmond, Virginia. And that was the first time a large group of collectors had gotten together. And at the time, they also had phone cards in with the credit card collecting. But that kind of went by the wayside pretty quickly. But anyway, at the end of that uh, meeting, uh, 30 years ago, this September, uh, they decided to form an uh, organization, which the, the next year in Orlando, Florida, they had another convention, and that's when the organization was officially formed. And I, I was there for that. I was about 22 years old, I guess, at the time. <laughs> You've been doing it so for I was pretty, a long so I was time. pretty young, years. yeah. Yeah. And and I can tell behind you, you have quite a collection just, just from this view. Now I have my signs behind me, but it's nothing compared to what you have back there. That's really impressive. Um, so yeah, I, I've always curious... enjoyed the displaying my cards. A lot of people don't do that. They just keep them in their notebooks or whatever, but I like I like displaying them, been able to look it's at impressive. them. It's impressive. Yeah, it's, it's great. Um, and it really, you know, and we'll get into more about the history, but it kind of helps to track the history because it's not like all of this is documented and all of these cards without someone like you, I think the history would just be, we wouldn't even know that a department store maybe had a card or what it looked like or anything like that. Yeah. And those, those cards, like particularly like from department stores, cause most of those have all went out of business now, mm -hmm. you know, there's just a handful of department stores and most of them are nationwide, you know, Macy's. Uh, Dillard's, Coles, that you know, it's so the, it's not nearly as interesting as it was when every town had two or three local department stores, and many of them had credit cards. Even some pretty small stores had credit cards. Yeah. So, and that maybe that's sometimes the only thing left now uh, of those stores. You know, something with that logo, that name on it, and it's a you know a way to remember those stores. Uh, so, just the as far as the society goes. Um, how can somebody join? How many members do you have currently? You know, what's the benefit of joining? I just want to get that out there because I, I joined and I get your newsletter. So I just want to make sure we talk a little bit about that. Yeah. If you go to creditcollectibles.com, that is our website. There, and there's a lot of information on there uh, about collecting um, in general and mm -hmm. pictures of cards and about the different types of cards. And there's a place on there to join. And if you... If you do join, you, you get a newsletter I send out uh, two or three a year, but then there's uh, a lot of information on our website it, um, you know, with the password protected part of it, if you join, that uh, has all the newsletters that have been put out over the last 30 years. Um, there is We recorded many of the transactions of credit collectibles that have uh, been on eBay over the past 20 years or so. So say if you've got some cards you want to go on there and see what they sold for at different times. It's a, a good resource to figure out the value of cards. I know, you know, just looking at the collection you have behind you, I mean, a lot, a lot of those I, I imagine are very difficult to find. Yeah. There, there's many that you know, I've just seen one time, you know, and right. But that, so when you, when you see them, you have to try to buy them because you might not see one again, you know, in a lot of cases. Right. And of course the link will be in the description below. Uh, so I encourage anyone to go check that out. I hope you enjoyed that video. What a great group, the ACCCS. Make sure to check them out. The link is in the description below. The link is in the description below. Subscribe, like the video, watch the full video, and we're done.